This program is brought to you by Stanford University. A lot has been made about modal jazz and the fact that uh, Kind of Blue is kind of a harbinger of, uh, of things to come with uh, modal jazz. Many times these terms become off-putting because they make jazz more exclusive. You have to know music theory, you have to know scales and things. Well, you don't have to know any of that. Two concepts to think about, horizontal or vertical. Uh, most jazz improvisation before Kind of Blue uh, was based on a vertical structure of chords. You have a bunch of chords and the chords are... <laughs> And these bunch of chords go up and down, the notes go up and down, and the musicians scramble or jump from chord to chord to chord, mixing and matching, looking for the common denominators between each chord. So the solos sound kind of vertical in the sense that they go up and then they go down, and that's how we perceive them. And so a typical improvisation in that style might sound like a... a bunch of scales and you heard me going from harmony to harmony and the notes going up and down. Modal jazz said let's forget all those chords and let's take one chord and let's reduce a chord down to its basic element of being a scale. Now a scale and the melodic improvisation that comes from it is much more horizontal and so instead of having all those notes and all those chords jumbled up some of the tunes on Kind of Blue would be based on one scale. So when I improvise, I can't improvise in that usual vertical way of scrambling from one chord to another chord, looking for all these common de denominators, because there there's nothing to have a common denominator with. All I have is that one scale. So consequently, my improvisation is going to be more like... Which is not to say that it doesn't have a vertical element to it, but it's a matter of emphasis. So Miles Davis took that kind of sound, which was already implicit in the work of people like Louis Armstrong and Lester Young and other people, and just kind of made it into a little bit of a fetish, if you will, on this particular record. And what it meant was that all the improvising, most of the improvising that most people had been doing up to that point, uh, you couldn't improvise with those formulae anymore. You couldn't use that jumping from chord to chord. And a lot of people were absolutely nonplussed. They didn't know what to do because they could only scale these, <laughs> these ladders all the time. And all of a sudden they were having to just walk across a, uh, a horizontal plane. I think that's probably the best way to explain it. <laughs> Thank you.